In the Bible, one of the most condemned and obvious sins is that of fornication and lasciviousness. The Ten Commandments listed adultery as the seventh, and those who were caught doing so were stoned to death under the law of Moses. Other acts, like sodomy, which Romans 1 verses 26 to 27 defines, is also described as an abomination to the Lord in Leviticus 18 verse 22, along with these other acts. In the ministry of Jesus, in fulfilling the law, showed that lusting after any other person is adultery within itself. Matthew 5 verses 27 to 30, Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. We see that in John 8 verses 1 to 11, a woman who was caught in the act of adultery under the Mosaic law was about to be stoned. And when the Pharisees, temple leaders, asked Christ what they should do for their own self-righteousness, he said, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Whether it be pornography, fornication, adultery, or sodomy, these are all things that separate us from our Creator and from what is good for us. Anyone can come to God for repentance, be born again, be given deliverances from temptation, made clean by him through his spirit, and be imputed righteousness through Christ. The wages of sin is death, but God came to save sinners, which we all are.